Hello, my bitches and hoes. I went for him. You know, the polvo. I just took off my nails. And I'm going to be doing myself some jaw extensions because you guys already know that. It's the easiest thing for me to do on my left hand. I haven't done acrylics on this hand since like the beginning of the year. I don't think I'll be able to do them anymore. So jaw extensions is perfect for those of you who don't got time to be sitting there fucking filing your nails forever. So this is what it looks like. This one is the extra long stiletto. And you know, if it was longer, girlfriend, even better for me. But because that's all it goes, that's all I'm getting. So, um, a ver como me va. I still don't know exactly what I'm gonna do, but that's what you guys are gonna be watching. So, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Girl, look at them lashes. And leave a girl a little comment or a little like. Porque, you know, she trying, she trying. I promise, I promise to get better and better in every video. Alright, so let's get to these motherfucking nails. How? Porque la noche. La noche. I don't even know what the fuck I'm trying to say. Let me drink some coffee porque me estoy durmiendo la verga. My sister got me hooked in this fucking coffee. It's fucking bomb. After like... The holidays, voy a llorar a la verga porque ya no va a ver. It's a pumpkin cold brew. It's bomb. You should try it. She taught me to order it in Grande. Grande pumpkin cold brew with extra foam. That shit tastes fucking bomb, bitch. I feel like I'm drinking um, mm, a little pumpkin pie or some shit. I don't know. So, Grande pumpkin cold brew with extra foam in a venti cup. So, that is the recipe. Go fucking try it and let me know if you fucking like the bitch. And, how to call it, um, mandame un dollar por el tip. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, bitches. Let's get to these nails, cause they looking a little scary right now. So, these are my natural nails. focus they're kind of growing like c curve ish i cut them because they're already fucking long and they're like oh kind of nasty i don't know i don't need really to do a good job cutting my own nails but whatever don't matter and for those of you guys who will be wondering what i used to record this is it my archon mounts let me show you let me turn it around it's a little nail stand like this and we have a little coupon code. So mine's already a little messed up for my cup. Oh no, that's one right now. It's not messed up. That's where my cup goes. Because I don't want to like ruin my table. So this is my little Archon mounts. And we have, well I have a little code that they gave me. Zule's Nails. If you want to buy one bitch. Save you some money. 20%. I don't know what the math is, but figure it out honey figure it out so I'm gonna be doing gel extensions soft gel extensions and these are the extra long stiletto these are available on my website they come in I believe 10 or 11 sizes and there's a total of 500 tips I'm gonna be using the rubber base clear to adhere them my little flashlight and if you buy this little flashlight oh wait from my website it does not come with a battery so you need to make sure to get some you can get them at the 99 if you want and I'm gonna be using the bondade nail primer this is acid based primer and the non acid no burn so these three are my little ultimate prep that I use and bitch your nails will stick forever I'm just kidding not forever but it's important that you um, prep your nails really good and I was using my sanding bands. This one says limb free wipe because I reused the box but these are the little sanding bands from my website. They are 150 grit and that's perfect roughness for the natural nail. 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using this color today, but Patrick told me to do like fall vibes. So I'm kind of digging that one. It's new. Or this one. It's kind of like pale. They kind of look cute together. I don't know. But then I'm also digging this new goldish one. So a ver que. I'll probably end up doing all three. We'll see. We'll see, honey. So this one is number 58. The palish looking one is number 65. And this golden is 66. Alright, so we're gonna get started and a ver qué pasa. So I already went ahead and measured all my nails. And obviously, bitch, I have a big ass finger porque tengo una manota. And I personally do not file these. I seen a lot of people doing that, but I saw another method online and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to put no burn primer in the inside of these nail tips because this primer ha leaves like a little sticky layer, I guess. That's why you gotta do that. I don't really know what it does, but the primer como que eats the little tip a little bit. And then um, it just sticks. It just happens. It works for me. So that's my method. Ain't nobody got time to be filing that shit, making more dust. I don't know why, but like the older that I get, como que más delicada I'm getting and shit. Like, I used to be, I wasn't allergic to a lot of things, but now I feel like I'm allergic to everything. Even dust. So, earlier today I was using a new file of mine, so that's why I'm missing some, some color. I was reshaping my nail. So, just in case you guys see my nails all fucked up, and like, what the fuck happened to your beautiful nails, bitch? I was experimenting so I'm gonna go ahead and put the bond aid Ooh, girl Jovita we're giving you a little shout out bitch she just placed an order <laughs> I should make that a thing huh whenever I'm recording and somebody plays an order we're gonna give them a shout out so I'm gonna put this on all my nails and the bond aid is um like a nail dehydrator and it helps level out the pH bond I mean the fuck the <laughs> it helps level the pH in our nails you could tell I'm tired cuz ya ni se ni que verga estoy diciendo so next I'm gonna do the nail primer and like I mentioned this one does it has it's acid based so you want to make sure to take off the excess before you put it on your nail because this one will like expand and you don't want it to like go into your skin because that's just gonna fucking burn a little and just apply to the nail like you don't have to put it all the way to the cuticle because it expands on its own because the nails are like super dry so I still have some product from my previous gel extensions um, because the rubber base doesn't really soak. You have to like completely file it off and ain't nobody got time for that. In a way it kind of protects your nails so as long as it's not lifted you should be fine. And then finally non-acid. I'm gonna put it on the whole nail. And I feel so fucking weird being in here with no music but... I don't wanna get sued, so I have to talk to myself. I've gotten a lot better talking to myself. Like it's so weird because whenever I do my, my nails by myself and I'm doing them, it's okay for me to talk to myself like a weirdo. But if I record myself and then I have to do a voiceover, then it's kind of weird. Does anybody else have that problem? Or am I just a weirdo? So let me know what you guys think about me working with my non-dominant hand. Like can you fucking do your own nails too? Or do you struggle? 
because I'm a lefty, so I'm gonna do my left, my left hand. So, si parezco tonta, ya saben por qué. So, I'm gonna be using the rubber base gel, and I'm gonna apply this on all my nails. So you put a layer of this on your natural nail and then you cure it in the lamp for a minute. You could use this rubber base for regular gel polish as well and it sticks very well. I do my sister's manicures with this. She's actually the reason why I expanded into using like gel. Cause this bitch doesn't wear fucking nails. Like, I always saw her like, you're fucking weird ass bitch. And like, if anybody else was my sister, they'd be like, bling me the fuck out. Put me the longest fucking nails. Pero esta tonta, no le gustan las pinches uñas. Which, I guess in a way is good because, si no me van a dar chingue y chingue y luego, she would want fucking new nails, new bling. No, everything very fucking weak and shit. So, mejor I don't complain that she doesn't like to do her nails because it could be worse. Like, como que dos adictas al bling bling, como que no good for business. All my bling will be hella gone. Alright, so the last little finger. And then I'm gonna stick it in the lamp. Make sure not to get it in your skin because then that's just gonna fucking burn. But look how cute these little nails be looking. All right, so I already put them in the lamp for one minute. And I'm gonna start off with my pinky because I think that's the easiest. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of gel on my tip. And I'm gonna try like expanding it this time because sometimes it comes out on the sides so i'm gonna put the oh, did i just mix my nails i'm gonna turn on the lamp already Wait. because i'm gonna stick it in my mouth and that's the way that i do my own nails so i'm not gonna be able to talk and i like to wave the the lamp back and forth so that it doesn't burn because when the product is drying, it, it gets hot. So right here you could see que se me salió poquito. Fuck, okay, I don't have my pony in here. So I'm gonna fucking clean. Clean it before it fully cures. There's a uñita. And I'm just gonna stick it in the lamp right now for um, 60 seconds so it doesn't move anymore. Alright, I'm gonna do another one. And... I'm gonna try to put less because I don't want it to like come out through the sides. So I'm trying to spread it out a little bit. Mm. Alright, so my little lamp is still on. I just stick it in my mouth. All right, so there it is. And when I'm trying to stick my nails, my fingers, since my fingers are crooked, now you could tell, bitch. Hold on, let me cure it. So meanwhile, that shit is drying. Like, I have crooked ass fingers, bitch. Like, nadie me puede decir que no están chuecos. Like, I don't understand why some girls be like, 
you put me the nail crooked. And it's like, bitch, your fucking finger and your nail is crooked. Like your natural nail, you know? Like, I don't understand how some girls don't know that their shit is crooked. Like, naturally, you know? So, like, this finger, bitch, you could tell que va pa' allá. So, my natural nail grows that way if I were to let it grow, grow, you know? But because it's short, you can't really tell. So, what I try to do is guide myself from the middle of my finger. And that's where I'm going to put the tip. So it could look a little bit more straight, you know? That's the goal. But it doesn't always happen that way because when you're doing that on yourself, it's kind of hard. Because if I were to put the nail as my finger goes, me va a quedar más chueca, you know? And then if you turn your finger backwards, you'll see like if it's a little more straight or crooked. Like right here it looks crooked because bitch, I put it crooked on purpose, you know? The finger's going that way. So the tip has to go more this way. So this finger goes that way. This one goes in that way. Diosito, me hicieron, no me hicieron por amor a la verga. Right, so. Hey, Candy. Shout out to Candy Girl. She just placed an order. Right, so let me spread it. I know that this finger is way bigger, so I need to have enough gel. Turn that bitch on. And you need to make sure that you try your best to not get any air bubbles because that will cause your nails to lift. Not always, but there's a chance that it will lift or water will get in there. So you want to make sure to press it down. And I think that's why I really like this little lamp because it comes it comes in handy. La tengo metida en el hocico que luego luego the when I'm pressing it down, I could flash it. And then I flash cure it for like just, I don't know, a couple seconds. And then the gel is already starting to harden. So by the time I put it in my lamp lamp, it doesn't lift. And then I just cure it in the lamp for like 20 to 30 seconds so that it could kind of cure. And then once I'm done with all five, then I... I cure the whole hand for a minute. So do you guys see how my finger, I try to fix my nail? My finger, honey, go that way. All right, let's do another one. And so I kind of like this method where I put it there and then I just kind of move it. And then I throw the excess. Alright, turn it on. And then try to move this out of the way when you're flashing because you don't want to like cure any of it. Alright, put in your hocico. Hey, estoy hablando de la lámpara, ok? No sean cochinas. And this finger is a tricky one because look at bitch. That shit is fucking going left. Like head left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to point it straight. You can't really tell porque pinche uñota que tengo, pero I'm gonna point it like straight. So guide yourself from the middle of your finger and that's where the fucking tip is gonna have to point. Oh fuck. Where the fuck did I get this hair from? From my head. That's where pinche pelo saca ta la verga. Can I get famous over here or what?
Then I think I need a little bit more on this finger, but let's cure this a little. So as I was mentioning earlier, if you just like keep it in one area like this, te va a quemar a la verga. So that's the reason why I kind of wave it. It's kind of like when you're filing in the same section of the nail that it creates heat. Well, so does the light, especially gel. It tends to like burn. So right here in the corner, it's missing some gel. I'm gonna go and throw some in there. I think because my nails kind of curved, it didn't really get it. Bitch, get in there. Oh, because ain't nobody got time for no greenie. And for those of you guys who don't know what a greenie is, is when water gets into your nail and it starts to turn green. It'll have like a water bacteria going on. All right, let's put this shit in the lamp. Oh, and then right now while I had the lamp in my hocico, um, we got an order from Princess. Hey girl, hey. All right, so there are, there are the nails. I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but ahí están las pinches uñas. Don't they look like healthy, ho? And then look at the side. Yes, honey. I'm not gonna do the thumb on camera because that one always embarrasses me. And como que, I'm trying to be like la instructora Guzman. Or la teacher Suley. So, como que, si la cago con el dedo gordo, como que van a decir, esta pendeja, no es pinche teacher, todavía está aprendiendo, which I fucking am. You never stop learning, bitch. Never. Don't ever think that you fucking know everything. All right, ho. And you know what? I'm just gonna do the thumb. Fuck it. Thug life. Pa' que vean que me va la verga. So right now, se me salió del ladito. If that ever happens, cure it enough so it doesn't lift anymore and then just fucking clean it real quick. Because you don't want that shit to be on your skin. That will definitely cause lifting for sure. I did pretty good actually. I feel like the more you do it, the better you get to be honest because I don't know how many times already I've been doing this gel extension on my opposite hand. Y como que every time it gets way easier and less messy. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on the bottom of my nails. Well, I'll show you right now. Because I did it to this set because I did the pink, the nude part, the nude rubber. And I feel like I have acrylics on. Like they are fucking strong. Like, I could fight a bitch. You know, se me van a quebrar a la verga. Well, maybe, huh? Depending on how I hit the bitch, una va a salir volando. Pero, like, not in half. Like, the whole fucking nail skin and all. ¿Quién está pensando en pelear? Yo no. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some on the bottom. You don't wanna put it, like, too, too thick, but... To thin either, bitch, because so normally I do the layer on top, but I want to try to see if the bottom layer even makes a difference. Just if I do it by itself. these bitches pa que no se me anden moviendo and I don't know if I mentioned it already in this video or not but 
my son told me to do some fall vibes nails so that's what I'm gonna try to do and this hand normally is more simple than my other hand so I'm gonna do this hand only today and then maybe sometime this week I'll do the other hand all right so next that the gel already dried I'm going to be using my Zillay file to sharpen these which is a, a little bit more porque they are not at my stiletto shape that I, I dig. I mean, the shape is cute and everything, but you guys already know I need this sharper. So I'm, I'm about to give you some ASMR. I'm gonna do all my nails and then I'm gonna show you guys. 